Welcome back to the Magic Corner. Uh, we are here again after vacation doing the performance of Collusion. This trick is fantastic and perfect if you're doing it for two spectators. Stay tuned for the shout out and the performance coming up next. If you haven't subscribed and hit that notification bell to get involved, you should. You don't want to miss a thing. I do have a product review and a giveaway of that product coming up to the end of the month, so stay tuned for that. The shout out, which was made in the comments on Blank Money, which I'll have in the description below, he mentioned, really great version, looking forward to more tricks and reveals, but please, for the love of God, leave out those disturbing and unnecessary sound effects. I know, isn't that, uh, I know. Uh, just to give you a heads up, Franz, those sound effects are staying. That's right, they are staying for good. They are a staple of the Magic Corner. So uh, there's the subscribe button. You can unsubscribe if you'd like. With that being said, we are ready to perform the collusion trick by John Bannon. Oh, yeah. All right, Penguin. Pluto, here we go. You can actually use a regular deck of cards. We just take out the jokers. Well, there we go. All right, let's kind of zoom in a little bit uh, so you can see what's going on. We have the two jokers. You can use a regular deck of cards. We are using the green bicycle deck. I like these cards. They handle very well. They're a regular bicycle deck. It's just the color is different. So you can actually hand the cards to a spectator. And again, they are all different. You can hand them to a spectator. Penguin, what I'd like you to do is deal down as little or as many cards as you'd like. And remember the number. So let's say he wants eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll take this joker and mark where he stopped. Pluto will do the same thing. Let's say he says 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take the other joker. Each of these spectators are kind of picking a half a card, a value and a suit, and they'll collude and work together to come up with one card. For example, we spread the cards. The first joker, they put the card down next to it, and here is the other joker with the other card next to it. We'll square up the pack. Now, as I said, one card, one joker will be the value, one joker will be the suit. This will be the value. So we are looking for a queen. And the other card is the suit. We are looking at a diamond, queen of diamonds. So they've worked together to come up with a card. Each had a different number. If the numbers were different, the cards would have been placed in a different spot and so forth. So now you hand the pack to one of the spectators and you add each of their numbers together. They had I think Penguin had 8 and Pluto had 10. That's 18. Deal down the 18th card. It should be a queen of diamonds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Queen of diamonds. Oh, yeah. And again, everything <laughs> is examinable. It is a regular deck of cards. All right, so that was Collusion. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I did. I know Penguin did. I know Pluto did. And even the dog did. So on behalf of all of us and you, thank you for watching. Franz, thank you for keep watching. I know you are because you're probably going to wonder what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah. uh, so until next time, on behalf of Penguin now and Pluto and the dog, we'll see you around the corner. <laughs>